300. What's the deal, Shafok Shaka? I wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. So, yeah, um, some weeks ago, I was asked a question by an individual, and I never got around to actually dropping the video. I had time today, so let's get into it. You know, this individual asked me, do I believe if there's uh, some type of symbolic message in this whole trend of women uh, with these wine glasses in the pictures? And so that's why I'm making a video today. You know, what's interesting is a couple of days after I got that question, we were checking out Saints and Sinners. And I noticed that in this episode then there, every woman that I seen had some big ass glass in her hand. And it was just like, kind of like out of place for many of the scenes. And you know, yeah, there's nothing wrong with uh, a wine glass, okay? Drinking out of wine. But what they do over there is they use things like that, um, like normal things <clears throat> to send a symbolic message that might get past your conscious, but it's working heavy on your subconscious. It's somewhat programming you if you are really into this stuff and not aware, okay? And so when you see it being placed up front in media, the way that it is today, it is there to send you a deeper message. And that's whether the people in the images are aware of it or not. You know what I'm saying? Most don't because most of us are blinded to what we are doing down here, okay? But in my opinion, there's that's no excuse in the age of information, okay? <clears throat> we should always be making the effort to be a better people tomorrow. But in order to understand this in depth, y'all, in my opinion, you got to look to the manual on this one. Now, y'all know in Revelations, uh, they speak about this seven-headed beast. Now, this beast was a combination of a leopard. Key thing, pay attention to that. Uh, a lion, bear, and some other unique monster. Now, you also learn that one of the sightings of this beast is in Revelations 17, where that angel took a man to a place to witness this monster. Now, when they got there, y'all, uh, he seen a woman who was said to be a prostitute covered in glitter and gold, okay? A.K.A the queens okay the women with all the fortune and fame out here today this woman sat atop of this beast and in this woman's hand was a golden cup that contained abominable things and the filth of her adulteries all right now just specifically speaking on this cup y'all the plan symbolically is to get their followers drunk off what is in that cup okay so that you can stagger your ass further into wickedness and perversion all right that is the plan now like i said some people might not even be aware of this some might not even agree but this is my opinion but you know y'all what's funny is um going back to the saints and sinners show now i showed y'all a couple of clips here of these wine glasses but one that really drove home was they had this clip of the character Rex and he was uh, sitting in a seat and they had another woman sitting on the arm of the chair. And when you look at this woman, she's sitting here with the leopard print wardrobe and she's holding this big old glass. OK, she didn't really even drink out of the glass. It was all for images for them to drive home to let you know this is what we're trying to let show you you know what i'm saying we're trying to send you a message here but yeah y'all when y'all see these kind of women and they uh, are positioned like this whether they know it or not they're letting you know that these women are being used okay to bring chaos confusion and perversion okay to the masses of people who follow them whether they know it or not all right and so that is my opinion, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Y'all go ahead and comment below. Like this information. Hit the sub button and the bell. We dropping shit y'all like. It's your folks, Shaka the Urban Philosopher. I'm out. It's 300.